I know some beauties in Cali. They all be calling me daddy. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you are new, do yourself a favor, subscribe, hit that bell notification, and come join the team. As always, download Winning with Women. Link in the description, number one ebook for attracting women. And um, today we're gonna talk about getting some women. I'm gonna talk about baddies, bruh. Are you tired of like dating mediocre type women? Like the ones that you know you you kind of want to bring around the homies, but you're kind of embarrassed at the same time? Come on now, fam. Ain't got time for that. Look, you need the top of the top. You deserve the top of the top. First of all, you need to believe that you deserve the top of the top because if you don't, you'll never get there. You know what I mean? You always get what you believe you deserve, but that has nothing to do with this video. I just wanted to let you guys know that. Anyway, <laughs> today's video is make her question herself, okay? Always make a woman question herself. Make her second guess if she's doing things right. Because remember, I don't know if you forgot, bruh, but you are the prize. You know what I'm saying? You that dude. Look in the mirror and be like, that's me, that's me right there. I'm that guy. Oh. Yeah, you gotta do a little bark or something. You know what I'm saying? Whatever it takes to make you believe you are the man. All right, and she needs to prove herself to you. So, how do you make a woman question herself and make her think like, am I even good enough to be with him? Because like, he's really like different. He's unique, like he's one of a kind. You wanna be one of a kind, right? This has a lot to do with setting yourself apart from other dudes because a lot of dudes, they do the same thing. That's why they get the same results. This better be a baddie. It is, but I'm working, so. But this on side, I'll hit you after. Come through, get clapped. All right, you, <laughs> you need to do what they're not doing, right? Most dudes, let's be real. Whenever a woman does something or says something, they always have a response. And the response typically is something that's going to please the woman, make her happy, make her content. You know, even if they think, you know, I'm not doing too much, I'm not validating her. But at the same time, you're still making sure she's okay with how you respond, you know, because you don't want to make her upset. You don't want to get her riled up. You don't want to make her uh, go crazy, you know, because a lot of these women are crazy. They're psycho. Let's be real. Um, you don't want to make her tell her girlfriends, talk trash about you, you know, and then once you get a bad rep with all these girls, then you cutting off your reputation, you know what I mean? Cutting off your amount of women that you can have in your rotation. You feel me? So you don't want to do that. Um, but that doesn't mean suck up to her. That doesn't mean lie in a way that takes away from you as a man. You got to just say less. You got to do less. You got to not respond to her as much. She's expecting you to respond. Hey, so like, um, I was out last night and then there was this one girl, she was like, oh, do you date blah, blah, blah? And I was like, yeah, I date him. We've been dating for like three years. And then she was like, oh, well, guess what? I fucked him off last night. And guess what you do? No, 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 babe, 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 babe. I don't even know who that is. Come on, come on. Okay, well, I mean, look, this is one girl. Yeah, I met her one time, but like, I think she's just jealous. So she's just lying. I'm gonna... You start going into this long, drawn out explanation for no reason. No reason at all. Like you didn't need to do that, fam. All you had to do was low key just shrug it off and laugh it off. Like, <laughs> for real, she did that? Who's that? You heard me, it was blah, 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 blah. Like she said she knows you. Uh, she showed me a picture with you and her. That's crazy. So you gonna explain yourself or what? Explain what? What is there to explain? Explain why she was all hugged up on you. Da, 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 da. <laughs> You're tripping. For real, like, no, you bugging out right now. You good? Everything all right? So you don't trust me now, huh? That's what it is? Hmm? Hello, I'm talking to you. Oh, oh so that's what you gonna do? You're not gonna explain? You're not gonna, you're not gonna explain to me. Oh, you getting me pissed off. Oh, I'm for the God, I'm for the God. Look, she gonna be on you, bruh. But then she gonna cool off. Then she gonna get over it. And guess what? If you don't feed into it, if you don't react to her reacting and going crazy and all of this, and you just play it cool, calm, and collected, she'll have to let it die down. Yeah, she'll keep bringing it up, but guess what? But then you put her in her place. You know what I'm saying? Like, put your foot down, bro. Be like, hey, don't yell. Hey, you got to chill out. If you bring this up again, we, we done, period. 
So, so what's it gonna be? You gonna be tripping about some girl I don't even remember taking a picture with? Or are you gonna chill out? Like, is this worth arguing? Is this worth us breaking up? You know what I mean? And then she gonna be like, oh my God, cause you gonna be going crazy. Cause you low key know you messed up. So even if you messed up, you can get out of it like this, man. You gotta make her question herself. Then she gonna be like, wait a minute. Am I, I'm probably tripping. It's probably an old picture. She'll start justifying your logic. See, if you say it in a way that is very, very believable and you're calm and collected, if you were saying all of this, but you were all frantic, being all extra, it's not believable. She's like, well, why is he freaking out? He must be guilty. He must be in the wrong. You know what I'm saying? If you're over here like, I don't even know her. Are you really gonna be tripping over here? Like, I'm like, I, I'm done with you three. Keep bringing this stuff up. I can't believe this. I'm just so. You playing yourself. You playing yourself. She don't believe it. That gives her even more of an excuse to be going off on you. And then you guys going back and forth. You getting angry. You getting a headache. You yelling mad. Your throat hurts. You lose your voice. And it's it's not going nowhere. It's not going nowhere. She'll end up breaking up with you. She'll feel like she's in the power position and end up cutting things off with you. She'll be like, I know you lying. I'm done. Why? Because she knows you're gonna respond. How are you gonna respond? Nah, babe, come on. Why are you tripping? Why are you bugging out? Why are you tripping? Why are you bugging out? I mean, that's how you feel. Cool. So be it. I mean, I don't agree with it, but I'm not gonna stop you. They hate it, but they love it because that means that they know they can trust you as a man to be a man, to be that rock that they need. So when things get crazy and hectic or anything, you know, in her life or you guys are out and things go down, you ain't overreacting. You ain't blowing up. You ain't extra. Look, I've been that dude that blew up at everything and I was very reactive instead of being proactive. Instead of taking control and being in control of situations, I let situations control me. And that never worked out well. So that's why I'm here to tell you, don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Don't let situations determine how you act or don't let them get you out of your character. Because normally you're not yelling and doing all that extra stuff. But when the situation pops off, then you start yelling and doing all that. That's not your character. You know what I mean? So you got to just... If you need to take deep breaths, you know what I'm saying? Do what you gotta do, but don't blow up, all right? That is the number, number, number one way to make sure she questions herself. It's play it cool, you know, play it cool. Also, put things on her. Be like, hey, oh, for real? So where'd these trust issues come from? Ask her, you know? And then she might be like, why are you asking me? Why are you trying to flip it on me? What have I done in the past to make you not trust me? He's right. He hasn't done shit. He ain't done nothing. Oh my God, I'm crazy, I'm psycho. Is there something wrong with me? There must be something wrong with me. He's good, he faithful. Well, you just got caught cheating and now she's apologizing to you. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. I was in the wrong. I know you ain't never done nothing wrong to me. Like, you would never play me. Like, I don't even know who. She weak anyways. Like, you wouldn't cheat on me with her. You see me? Yeah, baby, come on. You bad. Why would I? That's probably like a fan or something. You know what I mean? I don't even know. That's probably that's, it's like an old friend. You know, ain't nothing going on. You better relax. You about to get it tonight. You about to get that act right. Because you need that act right. So, it's all about playing the Uno reverse card. That's all you gotta do? Flipping on her, flipping on her, flipping on her, and uh, you'll be shocked, amazed. You'll be like, Mystic, man, you changed my life. It worked. So come back to this video. Let me know in the comments down below if it worked out for you. That is it for today's video. I appreciate you guys. Until next time. Focus on you and the women will too. I know some beauties in Cali, they all be calling me daddy. I know some hoes out in Texas, they all be showing affection. I know some hoes out in Georgia, got the whip on the forward. Know some bitches up in Asia.